How's it going, guys? Back here with you again with the review for the Leatherman Raptor. Um, this review is going to be kind of short. Uh, there's really not much to go over. A couple of things that I like about it, a couple of things that I don't like about it, and I wish they would change. Um, so we're going to get right into it. What the Raptor is, is a uh, medical trauma shear. Um, if you guys don't know what trauma shears are or medical shears, they are, as they sound, medical shears, medical scissors. Um, these are badass. Uh, definitely the best ones that I've ever owned. Um, we'll go over some of the things that this uh, tool offers, which is a belt clip that you can also put in your pants so you don't have to use the holster. Excuse me. Or we have a window punch right here. We have a lanyard attachment hole. We have a seat belt cutter. O2 wrench right here. And that unlocks. You can fold that back down. We have a ring cutter right here fits right underneath the ring and snip it right in half obviously the cutting part of it also has a ruler on there with centimeters and millimeters <clears throat> um, I mean the, the, if anybody out there is familiar with trauma shares and how you know they cut through a penny and blah 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 well these cut through butter they just they are just amazing I can't even describe them that well because they're just amazing, plain and simple. Um, the holster that it comes with, um, injection molded plastic. Um, seems kind of cheap to me if you ask me. Um, the biggest thing, the biggest issue that I have with this holster is when these scissors are unfolded like this, they're supposed to lock in. Did you hear that, that last click? They lock in just like this, and you cannot pull them out to, you know, you cannot pull these out unless you release them by this tab right here. And they'll come out. When these are on my belt, and I put them in like this, I can just pull them out. They don't, they do not lock. Um, and I think that is a flaw with these. I don't want my scissors to just pull out. I want them to be in there and I want to know they're in there until I release them. That's the biggest thing I liked about these. Um, and what I've tried to do is I've tried to, and I think the biggest thing was making it bad was how tight my belt was and the the, the clip came flat. It's just straight across because it's Molly capable, Molly webbing compatible. Um, and I think that was the biggest issue. So what I did was I heated it up and I bent it and I contoured it just a little bit if you can see that and I, it still doesn't lock. It's a lot better than what it used to be but it's just not the same. When it's off the belt it's fine but as soon as it goes on the belt it doesn't lock. I, I don't know why and I'm gonna write into Leatherman and see if they can fix the issue or what I thought what I think they should do is uh, include an optional strictly belt loop for these instead of this two-in-one molly clip and belt clip. I don't like this. It's It looks funny when it's on the belt because this part from here down extrudes from the bottom and you can see it. It just doesn't look right to me. Um, it should just be a belt loop that ends right there. I really think it should, and it should be contoured from the factory Nobody's hips are straight, or nobody's backs are straight. It should be contoured, not straight. They do that because, you know, it has an option of going on molly gear, which is flat, and on a vest, or something like that. That's fine. Make, it a, make a separate molly, you know, attachment here. Most people aren't going to wear these for molly gear. It's most likely going to be on the belt, or something like that. So I, that's why, I feel, that's my opinion, guys. I would love just a belt clip, strictly belt clip, belt loop for it. So, other than that, I mean, it's ambidextrous. You can flip these 180 just like this, and they uh, 
you can change the cant on them by this screw right here. So that's that's nice. I like that. I just wish it would have a you know a dedicated belt loop uh, instead of the Molly slash belt loop thing. Um, but to release these, you have these little buttons right here on each side that folds in, and this side, and then you can pop it right in just like that. Oops. This is how I've been carrying it lately. Um, just because they don't lock in the other way, and that's it doesn't it just frustrates me. I really, really wish they would uh, fix it. Yeah, because there's no way you'd pull this out now without releasing that tab, and that's awesome. That's the way it should be. But off that now, I've been using these for about a month now, and I've used them on several calls, and they are awesome. I highly recommend them if you're in the medical field work on the road or in the hospital. Um, another thing, they are kind of heavy, um, but they are, they're balanced pretty well in my eyes. Um, I have smaller hands, and they, they fit nice. I mean, they're, 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 the quality in these is very wonderful. So, thumbs up to Leatherman for that. I just, they, I think they dropped the ball on the holster. So, I'll, uh, I'll let them, I'll give them a letter and see what they say, and uh, it might just be a faulty holster that I got, I don't know. So I'll write into them, see what they say, and uh, I'll get back with you guys and see uh, uh, see what they say, and I'll let you know what they said. But uh, other than that, that's what it is, guys. I'll see you later. Uh, stay alert, stay alive, guys. Be safe. Have a good one.